Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out how to set up your effect or reverb delay, anything in the wing. First, uh, we need to understand that the wing is a little bit different from what you maybe have seen on the X32 or other console. Uh, it's not a effect rack that you uh, assign to a bus and there is no effects return. The idea in the wing is to use a bus and send it to your master. What I have set up here is my bus 16. The first thing that I'm gonna set in my bus is if I want it to be pre or post fader. For effect, I prefer to have it post fader. So we're gonna do post fader here, not pre, post. From there, we're gonna move to the effect page. What I'm gonna do now is set up a drum reverb. It will be bus 16, but it doesn't matter. It could be one, it could be whatever you want. Before we start working on our bus strip itself, we're gonna select an effect that we're gonna insert on that strip. So now uh, I'm gonna use this space right here. I'm gonna go VSS3 and you see here it's grayed out. It's because it's not used anywhere. It's not inserted anywhere. So I'm gonna select my bus 16. I'm gonna go with the ohm. In my last block here, which is the second insert, we're gonna insert or VSS3 reverb. We're going to use the second insert because maybe I want to EQ something before the reverb or had processing dynamics. So if you use the second insert, you're pretty much able to put whatever you want before it. And then here in the main section of the channel strip, uh, I can punch it into the four main if I want to. My PA would normally be only in main one, but maybe if you're doing a feed for a live stream and you want to have less reverb, uh, you can use your main two and just put a little less reverb on main two. Now we got an effect on a bus and it's sending signal to the master. Now what we need to do is to go into each of the channel strip that we want to have reverb on it, that reverb. I'm selecting here as an example, my bass drum. I'm gonna go into the bus send in the bottom here. You can see here in 16, I can just raise that send same for my snare, maybe not my hi-hat, my toms, floor tom, and maybe just a little bit of reverb on my overhead. So now I have all those input post fader. We're gonna check that we're sending signal into or bus with that. So now that I have my virtual sound check from my SD card, uh, plugged in, we are going to double check that we are sending some stuff in that reverb. Actually, here you can see some VU going. That's on bus 16. And you can see here that we have signal into the mains. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked that video, if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. It's a big help for me. It's a big win for you. That's it for today. Take care of yourself. See you guys later.